Let me ask you this, are you guys struggling to find your footing on the newly invaded chapter two, season seven, Fortnite Island? That's understandable, right? You know, Fortnite season seven has completely changed the way that we play the game. And most of us can agree that it's one of the most enjoyable seasons so far. Bunch of crunch on me, where you at? Your motivation guy, that's right, I'm pumped up. I am back and we're gonna be showing you 25 of the best tips that you need to know to improve fast in the new Fortnite season. And so by the end of the video, you're going to absolutely know everything, the, you know, the perfect strategies, the tricks to dominate the meta. But hey, before we get into any of that, all right, have you guys checked out Pro Guys Fortnite Discord? We are currently running a giveaway where you can win a free coaching session with one of our top coaches. Valued, a personalized message from me, three VOD reviews on Pro Guys, and even a year on our Pro Guys membership. Whew. Check it, the link out in the description. We got so much going on, you can have a chance at winning. You guys ready to get into this video? I know I am. Let's get this going. You know, one of the big things that a lot of players in Fortnite tend to forget is that aim will always be the biggest factor that wins fights. Even if you're a master builder that can outbuild pretty much anybody, if you can't aim well, you're always gonna be at a disadvantage. So, you know, we gotta stop focusing so much on being able to just perfect your retakes and, you know, our piece control and really focus on mastering our aim first. So you should never try holding a single wall against a railgun because this new overpowered weapon can pierce straight through it and damage you anyway. So to actually defend yourself against a railgun shot, you're going to need at least two layers of builds between you and the person using the weapon. So place a wall in a ramp instead, or simply just sit in a cone inside of your box. Basically, you know, make sure you've always got two layers of builds protecting you because at a moment, man, a single layer isn't protection at all. You know, with season seven snipers being added back to the game, you meaning pretty much everybody is going to be looking for that oh so satisfying headshot snipe, right? You know, many of us, you know, have forgotten how OP snipers actually are. So always remember to be aware and ready to build some defenses, you know, in a sniper situation. Okay, so always remember to keep expanding when someone is pressuring you. Rather than just trying to hold your wall against their shots, this season has a lot of items that will totally shred right through your build. So you have to make sure that you can get away from enemies easily and efficiently. Expanding backwards is a great way to do that. You know, if someone is trying to jump into your box with a railgun, turn around and just place a ramp down to block them. This will allow you to edit out and keep expanding while making sure your enemy can't just jump right into you. You know, something a lot of players will fail to do when attempting to disengage from a fight is remembering to stay protected at all times, you know, assuring that you can heal without getting shot at by your enemies. And so whenever someone manages to get a lot of damage on you, man, like they'll likely try to play aggressively and follow up. And so this means you have to make some space, you know, box up and find some time to heal up and regroup. Okay, so launch pads have finally been added back this season alongside hot floppers and peppers and spicy fish, meaning there's now even more easy options to rotate. So you're gonna have to start building your loot route around these items to get the most out of your games. You know, launch pads can be found all over the Fortnite island now, but you know, peppers and fish are a different case altogether. Okay, so land at locations like Camp Cod and you know, the Bony Birds, which are much less contested, but will manage to grant you guys a lot of mobility. You know, five living llamas now spawn every game. And if you see one, you gotta try to box it up immediately. You need to make sure that a llama doesn't manage to escape. So your best bet is to box it up and spray at it until it fully explodes. This will allow us to get the chug cannon and all the other loot that drops when you fully destroy it. All right, so in the new season, a new style of chest has been added to the game, the cosmic chest. Okay, so to open this chest, you and your team, all you need to really do is really pickaxe it at the same time. So to do this safely, always remember to build a big four by one box around the cosmic chest so that you can just all stand around it without being beamed by enemies. Just make sure that you hit the critical damage circle on every swing. So you can actually use a recon scanner to see exactly what players are doing, man, through walls, right? Like you can utilize this to see if a player is just popping minis or bigs, or even if they're just reviving their teammate. All right, bunch of court it's time for the question of the day. Okay, so today we wanna test your intelligence and ask you this, like what is one huge tip that you know that has helped you win a game this season? Let us know in the comments down below and you already know we're gonna check them out. All right, back to the video. Okay, so don't be scared to waste launch pads. If you have a lot, positioning always matters. You know, always get ahead of the zone, guys, and disengage in fights that you know it's not gonna work for you. Since launch pads came back, you know, you may have forgotten about short padding. Short padding makes you fly at a lower distance and keeps you from getting beamed. So simply use this when you need to to get away faster by placing a ramp above your launch pad before using it. 
Okay, so in season seven, you need to be using nuts and bolts to win your fights. And nuts and bolts allow you to side grade your weapons to a different variety. And so we recommend crafting a tack shotgun into a lever shotgun, into a purple scar, into a purple burst rifle, or even an SMG into a rapid fire SMG. So keep in mind, you only need one of those to side grade your weapons. Okay, so if you can see a team using a railgun and a sniper, make sure you're always behind two builds, man, and just holding them as they can just break through and just snipe you. This combo is deadly and you need to make sure that you're definitely aware of this. You know, instead of just playing team modes with your friends, hey, start practicing solos if you're trying to prove yourself and place in the upcoming Trios FNCS. The first two events of Season 7 are both solo events with huge prize pools that you can qualify for. Make sure that you put the work in and prove yourself before looking for teammates. All right, never bloom battle somebody with a hand cannon, and they can do a lot of damage with barely any skill required. Along with hand cannons, snipers will be the end of you if you stand still, so make sure you're always aware when peeking, all right? Stop wasting your launch pads when you're near an alien base. You know, there are place launch pads that are indestructible that you can use at any time. So looting a big POI takes forever, especially when you're trying to stack some gold up, right? However, if you can use a recon scanner to see every interactable item such as chests, safes, and ammo, and consumable boxes, you're gonna be good. So you can use a recon scanner to know exactly where your enemies are through walls. After you can use a railgun, after you can use a railgun and shoot exactly where they are and headshot them through the wall. So if you have a ton of gold, but you're low on healables, you need to know this huge change to the game. Vending machines are now back, and you can now buy a lot of different things such as healables and weapons. So a great way of getting a lot of gold and completing challenges is utilizing the telephone booths. Telephone booths are at almost every single POI on the map and in some outer areas. All you gotta do is interact with a telephone booth and just select a challenge that is easy for you to do it and complete it. Speaking of upgrade benches, okay, this mechanic has been added back to the game. However, upgrade benches are almost useless in the beginning of the season now. Okay, so just to go from a gray to a green weapon, you need 200 gold. And the overall possibility of getting a purple weapon in a competitive match is almost useless. You know, hopefully competitive modes will receive a change of gold amounts, but using upgrade benches are still a great way of having good loot in pub games. All right, so a new vehicle added to the game at the alien bases are the IO cars. Okay, so the IO cars are extremely fast and go lightning quick on almost any terrain. These new cars make a different noise as well. And you should, you know, just always look to land an IO base and get yourself one of these cars for an enjoyable W key experience. So if you're wondering why you're not, you know, getting any nuts and bolts, you're not alone. You know, nuts and bolts are pretty rare to find off floor loot, but you can find them in red toolboxes. So don't confuse them with the red workbenches from last season as they are much smaller. So if you haven't gotten a chance to side grade your SMG to a rapid fire SMG, you need to do it the next time you have a chance. Rapid fire SMGs are insanely overpowered and are an absolute laser. Just make sure you have an AR as well as the magazine size is much smaller than normal. All right, Butch Across Army, that's it for today's video. You know, we hope that you managed to learn something new today and that you're able to apply at least some of these tips to your games so that you can improve Fortnite like faster than ever. If you guys liked the video, make sure you guys sub to the channel. And if you want to connect with me on my Instagram, I'm right here at Your Motivation Guy. I believe in you guys. I say it all the time because I do. It's the truth. You know, nothing's impossible if you guys believe. I don't care what's in your way or what's coming at you. If you persevere, you will make it. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.